Hey guys, this is Pops Martin, and uh, I've read on Facebook a few times uh, that uh, some people have problems to produce music at home. They have ideas, and uh, greetings Abhishek, by the way. <laughs> um, and they think for a home studio they need lots of gear, and maybe you already have the gear that you actually need, because uh, if you're a guitarist, maybe you already have some kind of guitar effects gadget, and uh, yeah, that will do. If you have a microphone, like this beautiful SM57, but any microphone will do. And of course, if you want to do a recording, you need a laptop. There's plenty of free DAW software, digital audio workstation softwares out there. That should not be a problem. So if you have a multi-effects guitar unit and a laptop, and a microphone, you will probably be fine, and I will show you how. Hmm. Okay, so uh, this guitar effects unit is basically an audio interface, because if we look at the second picture, it has a USB connector to your computer, and it's capable of sending two audio channels to the computer, to your door, and it's also possible to receive two channels of audio from your door. So when you connect your headphones, you would be able to hear what your computer is playing. And at the same time, you can hear what you are doing through this guitar effects unit. And uh, the only thing that you probably need and don't have right now is this. And I will show you a picture so you can see it a little bit bigger. And that's an XLR female to regular quarter inch mono cable. This is a really short one. You might want to have a longer one. I think this one is actually nine meters, so you don't see all the cable down there on the floor. But anyway, so that's all you need if the other things are already given. Yeah, so let's see how that works. So first of all, I connect this cable to the microphone. And then from the microphone, I go to my guitar effects unit. In my case, it's the Kemper because I don't have any of these uh, smaller guitar effects units. So I will just show it you by connecting this here. And you heard it crackle a little bit. And now you will hear the microphone. And uh, right now you hear this microphone here on my headset. Let's see, there it is. And I will switch it off. Hear me through this microphone. Is it? Yeah. And you hear me pretty well. Yeah, that's really nice. And we can, uh, like this, for example. Oh, wow. Looks like I have an amp that has lots of gain. So I have to reduce the gain. Yeah. And maybe I have to switch off the cabinet simulation. You can do this in this device as well, like go to a clean amp or maybe some other setting that just allows for clean sounds. And then maybe you can adjust the output volume. Maybe you can add a compressor to up your voice quite considerably, like this for example. And you can hear already some delay and reverb because that's activated right now. So if I switch that off, I even have clear vocals. So uh, it's no problem if you have a guitar effects unit, like this one, for example. You download the drivers. And now I will put this microphone away and switch the other one on again. So here I am on the other microphone. Yeah, so if you have a guitar effects unit that is capable of a USB connection to your laptop or computer, with USB cable to send audio, send and receive audio, then you should be perfectly fine as long as you get the proper cable because guitar effect units don't have XLR inputs and that's why you have to go from XLR, which is the connection of your microphone, to basically this kind of guitar cable connection, quarter inch mono or TS yeah, that's all you need. And 
maybe that's easier to get than a whole setup with an audio interface and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Hope that helps. Okay. See you guys. Cheers. If you have any questions, by the way, feel free to ask me. I will try to help. Okay. Cheers. <laughs>